good afternoon my viewers this is Simon Gakenya my YouTube um, kindly subscribe and help me to build on my YouTube uh, to make it grow uh, this is a bright afternoon I'm just here uh, at the farm and I just want to talk about smart farming and just to encourage uh, my fellow Kenyans and tell them despite the climate change and the phenomena of uh, lack of rain uh, we can still do much better. Uh, initially in this farm I've reached out and I was doing tomato and onion farming uh, and I realized they are very sensitive, they are labor intensive, uh, they demand a lot of uh, input and attention and so I almost gave up but I decided maybe uh, I can try something else and I thought to myself why, why do, why, what if I do green gram farming? And uh, I've done, previously I've done two seasons. Uh, the first one I planted 12 gram, kilograms in this piece of land, which is about relative almost two acre, and I harvested 350 kilograms. The second season I did 20, hopefully, hoping that I'll make more harvest, but unfortunately there was a lot of uh, storm and uh, flooding and affected my crop. So I, I just harvested about uh, 300 kilograms. But this season, it is my third one, I'm seeing it's doing very well and uh, I can attest maybe minimum I would harvest about uh, 400 kilograms. Uh, Sagana is a lower area, it's warm and with the issue of uh, climate change uh, with an uh, unpredictable rainfall, uh, people are suffering. Food security has become an issue here but I can attest and see that uh, green ground is resilient to climate change. It's resilient, it's tolerant to droughts and minimal rainfall. And uh, I, I, I feel like if I'm able, I will keep on expanding. And uh, if I compare here uh, to my neighbor, and I, first of all, before I even compare with my neighbor, I can tell you um, green grams is not labor intensive. You know what I've decided to do? I just kill the weed with herbicide and then drill the green grams seeds and moment they germinate I use uh, uh, systematic herbicides that is applied with it to the, in the leguminous fields and does not interfere with the leguminous crops and then I apply herbicide I mean I mean I apply um, uh, foliar fertilizer I'm using an organic fertilizer which is very effective uh, and also uh, pesticide control and uh, milled from the cord uh, and therefore I've realized is uh, where I de it is quite a bit demanding is when I'm harvesting. That's when I have rebar in, in the farm and it will cost a bit of a chunk of money. But I've actually at the end of the day I try you make some money. But now when you compare with uh, my neighbor here who is doing uh, the rice farming here in Sagana, you know because of lack of adequate water, you can see here he has tried to do the rice uh, the rice farming is not really doing well and actually he cannot meet his uh, operation cost he cannot um, uh, you know cross it so uh, i'm imagining if he would have followed my step because he has observed uh, my farming green gram farming especially in the second uh, my second crop he would have maybe decided to shift but he persisted on rice farming and as you can see it's not really doing well uh, so I would urge to the people around Sagana and Kirinyaga, especially the raw attitude area, uh, just to do smart farming, green grams and doing well. It's only three months uh, crop you harvest and then you can do, even you can replant again. I've done my research uh, from the CARO, CARO uh, the Agriculture Institute, uh, Research Institute, and I've realized you can do green gram farming in your piece of land for three years without even rotation and you still, you know, get good crop. And I can attest 